I think if someone had told me when I was a little child that one day I would love tidying up and cleaning and decluttering, I think I would have probably laughed so hard or just kicked that person. Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Venya and today I wanted to do something that I haven't done in a while but I really felt like it and I wanted to see um, whether I could do it and um, that is decluttering as many items as I can in 60 minutes. 60 minutes just because I really don't want to spend more time on that plus I don't think I have too many items but I'm aiming for like 60 items in 60 minutes. I did that challenge before. I'm gonna link that video here. So I'm really curious what I can find because I ha already have some things that I can get rid of but I'm not really sure whether I can find anything else but we'll see and I wanted to take you with me and show you what I decluttered and what has kind of accumulated for me over um, the past couple of months. By the way, how do you like my shirt? It says, sorry I'm late, I didn't want to come. I don't know if I think that is a very very funny shirt or if it's just rude. I really cannot decide, so tell me what you think in the comments. But without further ado, let's start. It is currently half past 12, so let's get started. Those bugs will also go. I think that Christmas is over. What do you think? Oh shit. actually going a lot faster than I anticipated to. So it's been exactly half an hour, like I didn't even need an hour and there's really nothing more that I can think of to get rid of. Let's dive right in and see what I was able to declutter today. The first thing that I wanted to show you so I don't have to carry them all over the place are some boxes that I decluttered which are these ones. I emptied them quite a while ago in some other videos and I had a friend who said I wanted them, but I never got around um, bringing them to her and she never asked for them again. So they, I kind of kept them, hoping that she would take them. But uh, as she didn't ask me again, I'm now officially getting rid of them. Then I have this old pair of shoes. They're all dirty and they're kind of breaking apart, as you can see here. And they have got holes in them and I've... <laughs> I have had them for such a long time, I really like them, but I have other pairs of pairs of shoes which are doing a better job right now also, they're breaking like right here. They are really comfortable, but it is time to let them go. And then there is this box, um, there was a watch in it, which is somewhere on the pile I have here, but this is the box for a watch that I'm going to show you now, or later. And then there is the rest, so up front in here we have six glass jars that are empty which I don't need because I have got plenty. Then I've got a dead plant. <laughs> I've got four empty glasses of candles which I really have no use for as much as I wished I had. Then I have got a bunch of batteries. There are two, two. Then I have one eraser that I don't use anymore. One old toothbrush, which I used to clean with, but now I don't. A syringe that I used for mixing my own cleaning detergent. Then this is this thing that you put like on top of your toothbrush, with, which doesn't fit this one because it is a different one. And then it protects it, but 
I honestly never use it and now I broke it so <laughs> then I've got some leftover soap which is just not used anymore then I have the Christmas decoration that I showed you which I am going to count as one item it is only paper I know but it was my Christmas decoration for this year then I've got these teeny tiny bags um, I bought them in Mallorca because I need stamps and each stamp came within one little plastic bag. So I, I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them to send some postcards, which never arrived. And that was five months ago. So thank you. Thank you, Spain, for that. Then I have three books which I'm going to declutter and I'm going to give them back to an open bookshop where I got them from. I just realized that I'm actually not going to read these, so they're going to go back there. Then I have these five other books and this one I think I'm going to sell. Um, they are geography books and of course they're now the wrong way around, but you just have to believe me. Um, they, everything is just falling apart. <laughs> Um, they're geography books and I just don't need them anymore. Um, they're just sitting in my room. Then I've got, I'm not going to show you, but I've got two old um, credit cards of mine, which I'm going to destroy and then chuck. Then I have on, no, wait, this one. This is for your bicycle, for the saddle. It's kind of a gel thingy that is very, very soft, but Unfortunately, it doesn't fit over my saddle and therefore it is more than useless. Then I have seven, seven old plastic bags and I kept them because I thought that I can reuse them, but I have so many recyclable bags um, like fab made out of pure fabric that are much stabler than these ones but I never tend to use those and they just take up space in my closet so now I'm gonna get rid of them. Then I have some old cleaning things. I think it is fair to say that if you can look through the cloth then you are allowed to get rid of something. So that's one, two, three and a very old and dirty cleaning cloth. Ugh. And then Finally, I have got the sports watch that I was talking about. Um, I decluttered it before, but then I, I tried to sell it. No one wanted it. And then I kind of started using it again, but only for a few times. And that was a year ago. So now I'm going to get rid of it for sure. And if I'm going to try and sell it again. But if I can't, then I will just give it to someone for free because it's bad for me. I think it is better that someone else uses it and I don't make like, profit from it, but that the item doesn't get um, destroyed and wasted that way. So I, I'm going to count this as one with the um, box because it is one item that kind of belongs together. Then I've got this scarf, which kind of fits my outfit today, but I think it looks really, really cute. But it is so thin and it's, I, I don't really get use out of it. Then I've got one bikini top. The top part fits very well. Just the bottom part, it never really fit. It is so tiny on me. It's not that it's not, it's, it is my size actually. And I wore it for quite some time, but I always felt uncomfortable because I really couldn't do anything in this bikini except for just lying on the beach. But moving was a problem and also these ones untie quite easily. And yeah, that is not a good thing. Then I have one top, which is so cute. But again, it doesn't really fit and I cannot lean forward in this because then everyone will see everything <laughs> so i'm gonna get rid of this and then i recently got a new dress which i love a lot more than this one and i'm gonna part from this one because one of my rules is as soon as one as i get one thing another thing from the same category has to go out so that way i do not accumulate tons of stuff
yeah, and I think that was it. Let's see how many items we got. Seventy! <laughs> If I counted correctly, and I will double check when I edit the video, but I think I just decluttered 70 items in 30 minutes. I guess that is what you call speed decluttering. Maybe this should be a new thing. It's not the minimalism game where you declutter 500 items in 30 days, but it's going to be speed cleaning. Declutter as many things as you can in the shortest amount of time possible. Also, this saves you a lot of time, and to be honest, I am just too impatient to do something like the minimalism game where I have to think about doing this every single day. It's just daunting on me. So <laughs> it's no, 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 not my thing. I tried to do the minimalism game in one day. I failed epically because I just couldn't find as many things. But if I do this speed cleaning like once a month, I think in the long run, I'll have, I'll get the same effect than when playing the minimalism game each day. And I truly believe that no one of the people who played the minimalism game um, are looking for items each day. I bet they set one day per week where they then think, okay, now for day one, I have to get rid of one thing. Then they grab one thing. Or they make, they collect lots of things and then they make a big pile and then they just show the one item to the camera and say, oh yeah, this is day one. Because every time I see these videos, all the days, and the way people talk about the things they declutter, they sound so similar. And I kind of think they film it, think they film it all in one go. And that is not really the point. That's why I prefer this kind of speed decluttering a lot more. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know this is a I'm not really sure if this is a short or a long one, but I really enjoy these kinds of videos and I'll have to get rid of all this stuff now. And that is gonna be the part I hate most about decluttering. Why can't I just do this and everything is gone? So yeah, I hope, I hope you I hope you enjoyed this little video. And if you wanna stick around for more, then keep tuned for the next video. Stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you then. Bye.